this is what it looks like what's up you guys it's your girl morgan and i'm back at it with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my clip-ins so the hair that i'm going to be using i actually washed it i'm going to put the products that i use to wash my hair right right here on the side but let me show you i got this hair from the hair store just somewhere out here in la um it is 22 inches body wave and basically here's the hair it is so soft I, when it comes to me buying hair, um, I'm not really the best because I don't know that much about it, but my sister is. So she helped me pick out this hair. It does not shed a lot at all. Um, I love the texture. I just always try to find something that matches my hair. So this was really good. If you guys see, I'm going to post a picture. I use this hair as a ponytail, but I'm just tired of ponytail. And if I want to do a ponytail again, I'll just buy more hair. So I'm gonna use this hair today to make clip-ins. So all you need today is thread. I use black thread, a sewing needle, like the little hair needle, it curves like this. Some hair scissors, scrunchy, and I just have like a brown and black scrunchy and hair clips. And I have like a whole bunch of them. Now I'm just about to measure each piece and just see like where I need to cut it. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning off my hair. And I did just flat iron it last night. And the lines do not have to be straight. So this is how it looks right now. And so I'm gonna put this right here in a scrunchie. And just measure the pieces. I am going to double the pieces up just because when I do clip-ins, the point of me doing clip-ins is because I want my hair to be thicker and also just a little bit longer. So, I'm going to start off by measuring it. Right here. And I'm just going to fold it. Where I measured it, I'm going to fold it so I can make it a double. So this is my first piece. So I'm gonna start off by, well, I'm just gonna show you the steps. So once I cut it like this, just fold it and then First piece is done. Now we're going to measure another piece. Okay, so I'm going to finish sewing these pieces together and then I'm going to show you how I sew on my clips and then we're going to clip these bad boys in. So, Okay, so after like forever, I finally finished my pieces. So I sewed them all together. I ended up doing an extra piece. So I have four of them and I still have this much left basically. I still can make like two, two maybe three pieces if I need them. Like little small ones in the front.
blaze in front. It blends in so well with my hair. And I'm so happy on how it came out. Like super. This is my extensions. And how they look. It looks so good and healthy. Like it looks like my hair. And I'm really, really happy with how my clip-ins came out. As you can see. Like my hair is still like flat the way you saw it in the beginning of the video and it just looks really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll be back with another video.